Okay, so we introduced the notion of a graph in the previous video. Um, I left the definition up here on the, on the board, right? So if somebody hands you a function, right? You can look at all the ordered pairs, uh, a, B, where A belongs to A, B belongs to B, right? All the ordered pairs where B is associated with A through the function, right? Um, and, and sometimes this graph is not something that you can necessarily plot, right? If A and B are not sets of numbers, uh, you can still talk about the graph even though you can't necessarily draw it. Um, if A and B are sets of numbers, uh, then you can then you can visualize the graph using using this idea of the Cartesian plane, right? Um, so for this example here, right? Here, here's an example where I would just plot the points, and that's going to tell you what the graph is, right? So if I want f of one to be three, so I go x is one, right? This is my x-axis, this is my y-axis, or a and b if you like, and I plot a point at the coordinates one three f of 2 equals 2, so I go 2, 2, and I plot a point there, okay? f of 3 equals 3, so I go back up to 3 for my y value, and I plot a point, and f of 4 is equal to minus 1, so I plot a point down there, and I have my graph, right? It's not very exciting, but, but that's the graph. Um, and this is indeed the graph of a function, right? Um, again, the way, the way I would know that this was not a function is if there was more than one y value for one of these x values, right? So if I plot another point, say here, at maybe 1, 1, or at 1 minus 1 down here, or at 1, 2, uh, I would no longer have a function, right? Again, it's okay to have two x values that both go to the same y value, I just can't have two y values associated to a single x value. So that's a function. Um, with that in mind, we can come to these sorts of plots that are more like what you might see in a calculus course, and you can ask, okay, which of these are graphs? And so one of the things you probably learned in high school is that the thing that distinguishes a function from all other similar types of objects, or all of the curves, if you like, if you think in terms of the graphs, is that the graph of a function passes this so-called um, vertical straight line test, right? So the idea is that if you draw a vertical line, it should only cut the graph once, right? So no matter where on the graph you go, you draw a vertical line and it only cuts once. Um, there's this uh, notation convention we use for graphs. If I fill in a point, it's included on the graph. If I leave it hollow, it's not included. So here, I draw that vertical line down, right, passing through those two points, and that still only cuts the graph once because that point is not included, right? Um, so, so this one would be a graph. Um, this one here clearly is not because if I draw a vertical line here, I see that I cut it in two places, so it fails that test, right? Um, even though, even though this graph comes in two pieces that are not connected, right? Um, standard example that people usually give for, for a curve that is not a graph of a function is a circle, right? Circle fails this vertical line test. Uh, but in fact, if, if, if I had even one sort of extraneous point, if I plotted a point here and said, oh, that's part of the, that's part of the graph as well, this point uh, and the curve, I'm not dealing with a function, right? Um, something like this, so this one is not. This one down here, also not a function, at least if, if all of this is supposed, to, is supposed to be two parts of a single graph, it's not a function, um, right? Because even though this part here is, looks like a line, lines are fine, lines are graphs of functions, this bit here, again, it fails the test. So we don't have a function, right? Maybe I could have modified this one so that I only include, say, the, the top half of this parabola and not the bottom half. Um, then maybe this is a little bit ambiguous because you'd then have to start wondering, like, oh, does this line keep going? Because if it keeps going, eventually it's going to overlap that, and again, I wouldn't have a function. Uh, so sometimes, you know, the, the 
picture that you draw, the graph might be an incomplete picture, right? Maybe it's not telling you everything you need to know about the function. You might have to go back to the formula, right? Um, to know for sure whether you're dealing with a function. Um, but the way to know whether or not you're dealing with a function is really just, you know, you look at the formula, you look at the graph, you look at whatever information you have that's defining your function, and you ask yourself, is there any input, is there any element of the domain for which I can get more than one output? Um, if there is, you don't have a function.